that the very first time that you learn about the extortion or alleged extortion activities of your two previous former of, of your of your two previous associate commissioners, BI associate commissioners, was December nine. That uh, that was December nine when I first uh, met with Jack Lam when I went to the NBI. And at any rate, uh, Jack your, Lam or Sumbero? Uh, Sumbero. Uh, may I read for the record, because uh, Wally Sombero, we were asking about him, uh, texted me at 10.55 in the morning. And may I read for the record with the kind That is mission? today? That's today. Today. May, may I be Go ahead, to... please. Sir, for the record, I'm watching the hearing. I have the same words as General Kalima texted you. I'm clearing you of any knowledge on this extortion scandal. I will be working on my best to attend the, the hearing. I already sent a letter to, Gen to Senator Gordon today, T.Y. Po. Noted, but we will ask him again. As, as, as Secretary Aguirre, so September 9, yo po, I'm sorry, uh, December 9, yo, first, first time ever na meron ngang extortion activities yung dalawang B BI Associate Commissioner. Kasi yung una nyo pong siniwalat sa media ay yung tungkol nga dun sa indirect or yung implied bribery offer. Correct? That's right. That's right po. And therefore, wala kayong kaalam-alam dun sa sinas yung, yung supposedly nangyayari na mga whatever negotiation between them and uh, Wally Sombero meron until December 9. At meron na po before December 9. Ah, uh, kumakalat na po ang balitang mayroong nga nangyaring ganun. Pero, but the first time I talked to Sombero in order to get uh, it straight from his mouth was December 9. To Mr. Sombero. That's but right. You, but you never talked to General Kalima or to Commissioner Morente about it? Considering Actually, that these two associate commissioners, former associate commissioners, were the very subordinates also, direct subordinates of Commissioner Morente. We were texting with General Kalima. As a matter of fact, General Kalima has the record of our texts. Uh, he wanted to uh, meet me, explain to me, uh, because uh, I, he said that uh, I've been receiving so many uh, unverified uh, accusations against him. I said, yes, I'm going to meet you. But unfortunately, uh, events overtook us, and so I was not able, unfortunately, to meet with General Kalima. So it I was, think I am also... Uh, so it was not really a refusal on your part to meet with General Kalima? It's just it, that probably you did not have the opportunity to meet with him? That's what I wanted to, see, uh, to uh, say, that it is not, as a matter of fact, the text, the, rec the phone records of General Kalima would show that I agreed to meet him, but events overtook us. And we were not fortunate to I'll, I'll meet. Take, yes, uh, before I pursue that line of question, I'll take the opportunity to uh, take advantage of the presence of Mr. Mon, Mr. Montulfo. December 8 was the supposed grant of the protective custody to Mr. Sombero. There was a request course through you that Mr. Sumbero be placed under NBI's protective custody. And it was on the very same day also that there was this conversation between and among the BI Associate Commissioners, nung una si Mr. Robles Palang, with General Kalima and then Commissioner Morente. Yun nga yung supposed confrontation. That's why General Kalima felt constrained or compelled to call Mon Tulfo. Alin po ang nauna? Yung pag-surrender o yung pagpunta sa NBI to be placed under preventive custody o yung pag-usap nyo po via speakerphone? Even before I turned over uh, Wally Sombero to the NBI, I had a talk with him, a brief talk with him at my office. And then uh, when he was already at the... Uh, when, when was this, sir? When was this? In the afternoon. I, I, I uh, do not recall the date now, the exact date. But... Uh, but that was December, before December 8th. Yes. A few days before December 8th? One I, or two days? I cannot recall the date. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But um, I did... Uh, 
I, I had a conversation with him before I turned him over to the NBI for protective custody. And then uh, after he, was, uh, after he uh, arrived at the NBI headquarters, I had another talk with him. And then I, uh, I remember calling um, uh, General Kalima to verify uh, Sumbero's statement about uh, the uh, extortion. That was also before December 8th? I don't recall the... Uh, yeah, I don't the, recall, the, but it has to be before December 8th or on December 8th itself. It cannot be after December 8th, correct? I do not recall the exact date. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, I uh, don't remember dates, but I remember uh, what, uh, what I did. There are insinuations coming from both former associate commissioners that General Kalima, Sumbero, and yourself are trying to blackmail or were trying to blackmail them in exchange for not proceeding with coming out with an expose. You are a media person and, there, and you are known to be doing exposes. Uh, and I, I, I suppose that was your intention that uh, you're going to expose the information that you got from both Mr. Sumbero and General Kalima. My intention, My intention in calling uh, General Kalima was to verify, make verification on the statements of uh, Wally Sumbero to me that there was extortion that happened. So it was first Sumbero who told you about the extortion activities of this two, co two associate commissioners. Yes, Your Honor. And you called General Kalima to verify. Yes, Your Honor. And during that confrontation, General Kalima was there, a commissioner was there, and the associate commissioner was there. It was sort of Corroborative, I, further corroborative? I didn't know that uh, they were there. I, I didn't know that. Uh, I thought that I was just talking to uh, General Kalima. When he called you on December 8th. Correct? I, uh, what I uh, know is that I called him twice. First to verify and then uh, second to ask him why uh, he didn't uh, arrest uh, on the spot uh, the two uh, BI commissioners after they received the 50 million pesos. After they received. So on yes. December 8th, you didn't know that when General Kalima was talking to you via speaker phone? I did, didn't know. I you, had no You idea. did not know that you are being talked to via speaker phone. I didn't. And you didn't know that in that very moment, Commissioner Morente was there and so was Attorney Robles. I had no idea. You had no idea. So what exactly did you tell each other? I uh, told, uh, first I told uh, General Kalima, uh, I con congratulated General Kalima uh, over the, uh, the uh, expose or uh, um, the discovery of uh, the extortion. And uh, the second conversation uh, uh, to... We're still talking about December 8th, Mr. Tulfa. I cannot recall the exact date, uh, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. But I, I, uh, I remember calling uh, General Kalima on, on the same date. Did you tell General Kalima that you intend to expose? Yes, Your Honor. The two commissioners you called in your, in your column as rapacious? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. And General Kalima knew about that? Of course, because I uh, had a conversation with him. Uh, Attorney Robles, nandun ka, di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, para bang kaya nga confrontation eh, kasi para bang dun sa yu binig sinabe ni General Kalima, now we have the goods on you. Yes, Mr. Chair. Was that your impression? That there were the goods that General Kalima it all started uh, from uh, had had the goods on you? Ang message po talaga na pinaparating uh, in totality is that they have, they can expose us because of they knew of, of the videos and the recordings 
and it started uh, uh, on December Videos 1. and recordings. So obviously you're referring to two matters. Videos, I think, would refer to the CCTV footages. Yes, um, Mr. Chair. And it, it's cannot, it cannot be within the contemplation or the purview of the anti-wiretapping law. Yes, Mr. You Chair. also mentioned recordings. Yes, m Mr. Chair. So, there are recordings. Yes. Sabi daw ni General Kalima. Yes, po. Although General Kalima is telling us that style lang yon. Yes, po. Natural po. Uh, okay. Yun sasabi, Totoo sasabi ba yung yun sinasabi ni General Kalima sa kanyang complaint affidavit filed with the Office of the Ombudsman na nung ganun na, nung nalaman mo na, na kasama na pala sa picture si Mr. Montulfo because he intended to expose both of you, both you and the attorney Argosino, I naglupasay ka daw. Well, Halos maiyak iyak And then you even uttered something to the effect na si Rana ang karir ko. Uh, before, would you confirm that? Uh, before I answer that, I would like to uh, state first, uh, Mr. Chair, that I'm not ascribing any aspersion against uh, Mr. Montulfo. What I was saying is that... Uh, General Kalima uh, 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 talked with Montulfo over the speakerphone and uh, yun nga ako pinipresent that uh, ang balita na nakarating kay Mr. Montulfo was that uh, nang extort kami ng pera from Jack Lam. Now, uh, with respect to the uh, your reaction. reaction. I, I need to know your reaction. Yes. Um, uh, ayun po ang narinig ko. Uh, takot na takot na po ako nun because uh, it started from December 1, yung pag, uh, pananakot po o uh, how General Kalima described it as uh, uh, they, he is operating on our fears. Noong December 8 po, uh, yun na nga po, iniharap niya. Ang sabi nga po ni, ang nakausap niya si General Sombero and uh, pinapakita niya how easily he can contact uh, Sombero. And then, nakausap din niya po si uh, Mr. Montulfo na ang, ang message po is we will be exposed for extorting money from Jack Lam whom I do not know. I, uh, si Sombero po, hindi ko rin naman namit. I went there in, I went to the City of Dreams without thinking that there will be that kind of transaction, ma'am. So, <clears throat> eh, hindi pa naman po ako naakusahan ng ganito ever in my life. So you confirm that reaction from you na talagang akala mo gumuho na yung mundo sa iyo? Eh, kasi po ang lalaking tao po na po nito nasa likod. I confirm that mm, uh, I could have said but I couldn't remember the exact words that I uttered. Pero ang, na, ang nakikita ko po is kaya nga po ako na sa office ni Comorent is to help. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking for his help para itong umista niya sabihin bakit ginaganito ako? I, I do not know anything about this. Ms. Mr. Chair, I'm being asked to wrap up but just my Last point for now, I, I, I hope the chair understands uh, that I still have Start a seat. Start with 2.55, we will finish, so that there will be five minutes for the rest to keep up.